What's up, my comic community? My name's Cullen, and I collect comics. And today's Monday, and I really need to go through last week's uh, new comic book pulls. But instead of that, we really need to get into my collection I got from Johnny from uh, not too long ago where I did the big trade because I need to file it with all the other stuff I need to be filing. So we're going to jump right into that. All right. First, we are going to start with all the magazines I picked up from Johnny. Magazine format books. We got a Death of Captain Marvel. You know, I think it's the first print. A lot of these are going to be in not the best of condition, but with magazines, I expect it. I mean, they're bigger, bulkier, unless most people got them just to read and less to collect. Uh, and then we've got uh, Unknown Worlds of Science Fiction, number five. I love that cover. Then we have a absolute classic Tales of the Zombie with a Boris Vallejo cover. We have a Tales of the Van or Vampire Tales, which has got, of course, a Morbius on here, looking awesome. Look at that bad boy. That thing is sweet. It's got Satana in it too. Uh, we've got Plan of the Apes number five, and then we're gonna get into some heavy metal stuff. We got a Son of Heavy Metal. We got the Heavy Metal War Machine issue. We got the Heavy Metal graphic novel Venus Interface. We have the Samurai Special that looks awesome. I love this cover. I don't know who uh, uh, Giarello is, but man, I love this cover. It is sweet. Then we have a uh, January 95 that's got some Arthur Sudan in it. We have a September 91. I wish I knew who that was. Well, then we've got an awesome Olivia cover here from July 91. Classic looking Betty Page. Love that cover so much. Oh, then we've got a March 91. We have a Spring 86. It's got some water damage, but it's still cool. And then we have an August 1979. And that's all the magazine stuff that I picked up from Johnson. Some really cool stuff in here. Next, we're moving on to some of the all the books I picked up. Uh, we're going to start with some modern, work our way around. We've got all sorts of stuff. It's I don't know how well it's all organized, but awesome slapstick number one. I know this isn't worth a lot or anything, but I really liked this book when I was a kid, and I, mine wasn't nearly in as good condition as this. So I picked that up. We got this awesome Marvel Girl cover right here. We have a Magic Mystic Arcana number or one and i really like this cover who did this i'm not sure but it's just you know if you love magic stuff you love magic stuff then we got a devil's angel by frank thorne eros book adult gonna show that for a split second not to uh next we got speaking of adult also because of funny uh this isn't really but we've got a women of marvel 2 with this awesome greg horn cover and that's why I said that, because if you know Greg Horn, that's a fun joke. Uh, next, we're going to move on to Batman stuff. And we've got my detective, we got some detective comics books. We've got issue number 595. We got 615. We got 644. 645. 646. I wish we had a 647, but we don't, which is the first spoiler. But, well, the first cameo. Then we've got the first full spoiler, 647, right? 648 right here. Love this book. You know, if you really, really, really know me, she's my favorite character. Uh, next, we got 652, 653, 
I mean, I'm a huge Nightwing fan, too. Don't get me wrong, but spoiler, I love her so much. She's so great. This awesome Sam Keith cover, 657. 677. Also look like that might be Keith. Looks like it's either Keith or it's Kelly. And then we got this uh, 696. All right, and that's all the books that we have for this little section, and we're going to move right on to this short box right here full of stuff. We got a Scratches number eight, which this has got some Guar stuff in it, which is really cool. I love Guar stuff, so to get Guar books, that's amazing. Then we're going to move on. We got a bunch of... I'm going to make sure there's not any more in here. Tucked away of the next little section. So a lot of this stuff goes together. It doesn't look like it. Actually, you know what? We'll move on right here. Since we just did Detective. We're going to move on to Batman. And we've got a Batman 409... A 403. We have 430. 445. 446. Just trying to fill in my Batman holes and stuff. 432. 444. Got a 461. 515. It's a fun cover. We got a 487. And a 486. Next... We got a 471. Four sixty-six. Four seventy-four. They're just kind of random right here. Four eighty-one. This fun black mask cover on forty-five. We got to issue a Gotham Knights with a horribly drawn spoiler on it, but you know I love the character. Next, we got an old Detective Comics, Detective Comics number three forty. That's probably going to be the oldest one I got. This awesome looking Batmobile cover. We'll leave that up for a second while I go through the next bit of stuff. All right, we got a Tomb of Dracula number six. That's dope. Tomb of Dracula number nine. And a lot of these are in bad shape, but man, I just want these Tomb of Draculas to read, keep. I'd love to go through one these days with y'all and just go through and get a, have a full run of Tomb of Dracula, just read. All right, and uh, we got 13. We got 19. We got Tomb of Dracula 20. What are the cool... Did I mention... Sorry while I was looking through. I didn't even have... Alright, we got 21. Which is cool looking. And I wish I could remember what cover... I'm sure someone in the comments, if they want to, can... What is this a cover swipe of? I know it could even be... I know that it's a Neil Adams cover swipe, and I've seen Neil Adams cover swipe himself on it before either. But, I mean, there's a Batman, I think, like that, and there's also another previous horror one like that. But, yeah, Tomb of Dracula number 23, definitely a cover swipe. Got this awesome 24... 
20 or 30 has got a cool blade cover. Thirty two is pretty cool. We got a thirty five with Brother Voodoo. Thirty six. Love this thirty eight cover. We got a 41 with a kid and a freaking uh, awesome Spider-Man costume and Halloween Holocaust blade. Looks awesome. We got a pretty rough Tomb of Dracula 42. We got a 46 Faceless Fiend. We got a 48 that's got says got Blade and Hannibal King in it. 49 that's got Robin Hood and Frankenstein and D'Artagnan. Apparently it's got some tear and some smears on it. We got a 50 with Silver Surfer. It looks cool. We got a 52, looks like it's got him or Adam Warlock maybe, but a uh, cool carnival or good, cool, I mean, a uh, roller coaster cover. We got a Tomb of Dracula 56. We got uh, him fighting the Harker again on 57. I saw him in a couple episode issues before. We got a 59. We got a 60. Tomb of Dracula 61. I like this cover a lot too with this weird looking baby resurrection thing. Oh, and then we got another one. I guess that wasn't Adam Warlock. I don't know who that is on this. is Janice, I guess. But uh, we've got... Uh, this 62, which has got some cool tentacle stuff on it. We got another 63. We got a 65. We got a 66. And finally, for the Tomb of Dracula stuff, we got a Tomb of Dracula 69. So, yeah, a lot of good Tomb of Dracula stuff. If you like, you know, if you're into those kind of books, I think they're cool. I like Blade a lot. He's in a lot of that stuff, so that's why I picked it up. Next, we're going to move on to some other cool stuff. We got a second appearance of Howard the Duck, Man-Thing number one. That is super awesome. Love it. Love this book. Love that character. One of my favorites. Nice having this. You know, it's Howard, man. Howard, always cool. Next, we have this awesome, awesome Batman cover. It's got Catwoman with the whip and him on the ground and Batgirl. And it's just it's kind of awesome, kind of hot in a weird way. Kind of just love it, you know. Next, we got a Son of Satan number one. Classic book. We got a Nightbreed number eight.
We got this Venom number one. Toxin number one. Got a Jonah Hex book. Love this Carnage cover. It's Carnage number nine, I think. We got an Uncanny Five. We have that 80s Red Sonia, Red Sonia 1. I guess that's the second volume. Oh. Uh, got a Doctor Strange with Zom. Or, well, you know, Tales from uh, Strange Tales, number 177. Got, oh, so, no, that's the wrong cover. Back on this now. Tales 156 with Zom. We got a 152 of uh, Strange Tales. We got a Strange Tales 150. We got a Machine Man 19 with that awesome uh, Goblin character. I heard it's got like maybe a little bit of a rip, but other than that, it looks really, really good. Uh, love that. We got a Morbius. Uh, we got Adventure into Fear, number 29. It's Morbius. We got some Adventure into Fear. Well, you know, Fear 30. We got a Web of Spider Man 101. We got an awesome fear number seven. Look at that pretty cover, man. Love that thing. We got the classic Atlas uh, cover of uh, Planet of the Vampires number three. I mean, I'm sure you've seen this cover before. It's awesome classic. I mean, I love this book. It's great looking. We have a X-Men number 27 uh, Mimic. It's like a 1.015. All right. We got an Adventure into Fear number 22, or Fear number 22. Fear 24. Which this also is the first, this is only a 1.0, but this is the first meeting of Blade and Morbius, so that's cool. We got a, we got a Fear 25. Fear 28. And then we got a Fear 29. I hope you're enjoying this because there's a lot of stuff to go through. We got this Corbin Special, House of Usher. We got a Werewolf by Night 43. We have a Strange Tales 151. Saga of Swamp Thing 10. Swamp Thing Annual, the adaptation for the film. We got a Swamp Thing 2. We got this Brave and the Bold number 4 that I absolutely love. This is the one where, uh, you know, uh, it looks like uh, Supergirl shows Lobo the S on her chest, but it looks like she's flashing him. It's a really, really funny scene in this book, if you haven't seen that. Great book. 
Uh, there's a uh, Flash and Doom Patrol Brave and Bold. Also, this one's eight. That last one was four. This one's a Brave and the Bold 13. We got a Strange Tale Dark Corners that, of course, I had to have. I love the freaking... Besides just the cover of it being what it is, it's got this awesome... Uh, you know, uh, it's got Cloak and Dagger, it looks like. It looks like it's got Morbius. I mean, you know. Got a Red Lantern book. Number three. Love the cover. Just such a cool cover. Got a... Venom Tooth and Claw number two. Also because it's got a cool cover. Picked up a Venom Lethal per or Venom uh, number 167. It's got him and Craven. Venom 37. Venom 23, Venom 16, Venom 22. We're actually getting through this, I'm surprised. We got a Venom 151, Venom 152. I don't have a lot of Venom stuff, and I really like Venom, so it's one of those characters I've been trying to pick up more stuff of. Obviously, we've got this really nice G.I. Joe number two. It's a really nice looking copy. Catwoman, 84, or 83 and 84. Really early Harley Quinn appearances in Catwoman, 83. Boom. 84. We got a really crappy copy, but awesome. Still do not care. Origin of Galactus. That's what that is. That is Thor number 168. Super dope. Origin of Galactus. Uh, we got a Miss Marvel number, number 16. And... It's a really nice copy, except it has a nice little tear in it, sadly, which makes it a little less. Then we have a not-so-great copy of 17 also, which, of course, you know, this 16, obviously, besides having this awesome tentacle cover, is also, like, one of the first cameo appearances of Raven Darkholm, you know, Mystique. We got Judge Dredd and Batman... The Ultimate Riddle with this awesome, awesome... I love this cover. We got some Arthur Sudam Demon Dreams, which I love Sudam's stuff, so of course, that's cool. We got Doom War number one. We got Books of Doom number one. We got an Adventure into Fear number, here we go, 17, an Adventure into Fear number 18, and a Adventure into Fear number 25. We got a nice, super fat stack, one of those series I've been trying to collect for a while. I don't even know if it's really that popular, but some of it's kind of hard to get because it's... We got Way of the Rat. Number 9. Number 10. 11. 12. 13. 14. And... 19 and 20, 
22 and 18 and 23. So I got a bunch of way of the rat. Hey, what's up? Sorry, the audio died on that. So, uh, you know, I just finished up uh, the uh, end of those uh, Way of the Rat books. And so uh, we're just going to hop right into it because my, uh, my, uh, I forgot found some more books too. So we got that going. <laughs> All right. We got this Van Perella issue that's obviously got this Kevin Eastman uh, tribute. Love it for Ninja Turtles 1 looking. It's Van Perella number 24. We got a Venom Space Knight number 2. We got a Venom Space Knight number three. We got a Venom Space Knight number four. We got a Venom Space Knight 11. We got a Venom Verse one, a Venom Verse two. Venom Verse one variant, Venom Verse two variant. Venom verse four, variant of five, another four. Then we got some Alan Moore Tomorrow Stories, number one. I always love this cover for number two of the gray shirt. Got number three, four. I've always loved this cobweb cover for number five. And then we got number six. And so, a bunch of those Alan Moore tomorrow. Oh. Next, we're going to finish up. We have a quack number three. I've always loved these quack books. I love co I love, uh, I love uh, duck stuff and I love animal kind of stuff. So, this is kind of cool. We've got a Brave and the Bold number 102. Teen Titans on that. Got number 34 of X-Men. And now we got Angela. One. Angela two. And Angela three. We got a She-Hulk number one. Second volume, I always love that cover. She-Hulk number six. I love the space truck cover. It's great. Finishing up with a Son of Satan number two. And final book, we got a Mr. Monsters High Octane Horror number one by Clips. All right, and that's all the stuff I got from that trade of books. Quite a bit of stuff. Thank you if you stayed for this whole 30 minutes of stuff. And I will going to get out of here, and I will holler at you later. Peace, y'all.